Hey, what's up? Ken from Palm Beach Dino here, and we've got some epic news for you today. Look what's behind me. We can finally tune the 24 Mustang and a whole lot more. We'll get to that in a little bit. First, I wanna give some huge shout outs to Eric Brooks and HP Tuners for sticking to it and getting us a solution to tune this platform. What a huge deal for the Ford world. I also wanna thank Glenn from Steeda, one of many companies that are shipping their vehicles here the minute they heard that we could do this. Now, uh, Palm Beach Dino, along with I believe two other tuners, got an advanced copy of the software because it has to be tested before it goes live. If you're seeing this, then it's live, and I believe any tuner can do this at, that, at this point. But there's a couple things with scheduling and how things are gonna roll out and what works and what doesn't, so stay tuned to this because Palm Beach Dino has a special program to help you out on that topic. Let's hop in the car and we'll tell you about the car and go over all we know about tuning, which is a lot. All right, we're all set up in the car. I wanna go over what's done to this vehicle and we're gonna do a baseline because this car is not stock. We also have two other non-stock cars. One's getting here today, shipped to us, or actually driven here all the way from New Mexico, the Hellion Twin Turbo Development Vehicle. And I'm sure you guys remember Justin Bertram and the JPC car, Next Gen has that car and they are on their way here this weekend so we're gonna have two turbo cars to do next week and if you want your car done stay tuned to find out exactly how you do that so anyway let's go ahead and uh, start rolling here and I'll talk to you about this car uh, this is a steed of development car uh, Glenn drives it um, I believe we're going to Homestead tomorrow with it um, road race uh, focused of course it does have some ported heads it has some long tube headers uh, it has the Steeda cold air kit set up, and um, I believe the intake may be ported. Now, we can argue about what power comes from what, but that's not really that important for what we're talking about here, because we're trying to see how the tuning works. So the easy way to do that is to do a baseline and then tune it and evaluate the results. So we're gonna go ahead and do a pull in third and fourth gear, because most likely we're gonna hit a speed limiter in fourth gear, uh, but I wanna see the difference in power and then we can kind of infer uh, some things from that as we move forward. So anyway, let's go ahead and make it a pull. All right, that was third gear. Uh, you know, we hit the normal uh, factory rev limiter, so now we're gonna go uh, to fourth gear. It's probably gonna cut us a little short. All right, two clean hits. Let's go ahead and look at the baseline numbers, and then we'll go ahead and try to flash it. All right, let's go over the baseline runs. 426 in third gear and in fourth gear 434 but it stopped us early although it doesn't seem like it was going to keep going and sometimes this will happen with high speed runs and the way the tune's set up and cap protection and all that sort of stuff uh, as you can see it peaked out way uh, later in third gear uh, and this shows you the speed 148 149 tire size all that blah 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 either way uh, uh, that's the speed limiter stock so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, load our tune up, and do most of the comparisons in third gear so it's fair and we can see full RPM, and then we'll show you some fourth gear stuff too. So let's make some pulls. Now, while I'm getting this tune ready, let's talk about how you can get your car tuned. Today is the release and the announcement, but for right now, this is how you got to get tuned, at least by Palm Beach Dino, and I believe most other tuners are going to do this because the RTD4, which is required, is not quite ready yet it is ready and it works on the older vehicles but on this new deal I mean HP tuners wanted to get this to you guys as soon as possible so if you want to get tuned head to South Florida uh, otherwise you can go to our website right now and do a pre-order I believe it's only gonna be a little bit but I'm not giving you any I'm not even gonna guess on time but like a very short amount of time the RTD4 should be uh, supported as soon as you order though we'll go ahead and ship you the rtd4 so you're ready to go the minute everything is all finalized so also we you know while, while we're at it let's go ahead and talk about uh what kind of support we have here it's not just 
S650 Mustang. I'm sure you F-150 guys are very curious. That's one of our biggest markets. Not quite yet, although there is some new news. If you have a 21 to 23, no longer requires an unlock and none of this stuff does. That's right, I didn't mention that yet, but you know, on the 21 to 23 F-150 and many other brands of cars and all that, you have to send the PCM in and then they unlock it and then at that point you can tune it. Not anymore. Not only is the new stuff just tuned like normal, they also implement that to the uh, 21 to 23. Uh, so what's coming out right now? Raptor R, uh, all the Bronco stuff except for the uh, 2.3, that's coming though. Um, any of the EcoBoost stuff that's been uh, lacking. Then the next round will be 7.3 Godzilla, F-150, 24 or newer, and GTD, which if you have a GTD and you want to get tuned, let me know. I'd love to tune one. Anyway, let's go ahead and hit the flash button. All right, here we go. I'm going to hit the flash button. You're seeing this in real time. Let's see if it works. There you go. There's the PCM right key is on. The suspense is killing me. Oh boy, here it goes. Super, super pumped. All right, well, well, that's flashing. Let's talk a little bit more. Um, one of the biggest things I'm gonna hear, and I have a solution to it, is, well, what are the first tunes gonna be like? I'm gonna wait and see how it develops. Well, I guarantee we're gonna do pretty well off the hit. But just so you feel good about buying now, Palm Beach Dino is offering 12 months of tuning support. That's right. 12 months. Now, that doesn't mean we're going to keep tuning your car if you keep changing things, but for the same combo, for 12 months, if we come out with any new transmission stuff that, you know, shifts better or make power gains or anything like that at all, all you do is have to hit us up and ask if there's a new update since your last tune, and we'll go ahead and give that to you for free for 12 months. So that allows you to get 90% of the benefits right now, and then through the next 12 months, if there's any you know, uh, the advancements of that next 10%, you get that for free for buying early. Anyway, let's see what's going on here. It's almost done. Now, just because it flashes, doesn't mean it's gonna start. So that's our next hurdle. Let's see. All right, here's the moment of truth. Oh boy, looks like it's working. All right, woo! Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do a bunch of pulls. This takes forever, and maybe some of you guys wanna see this, but it's just, it's a lot. So it's hard to film, and you're making tons of changes. Now, any tuner out there that tells you, oh, well, it's the same as, you know, just put all the Gen 3 stuff on, that's BS. I'm gonna spend a lot of time uh, playing with camshafts and everything on this thing. And you know, this is day one. Uh, there's gonna be a lot more. So let's go ahead and do some pulls and then we'll go over all the results and I'll wrap it all up, let you guys know what's coming next. Let's go over the results, man. We did over 30 pulls on this thing because uh, I'm just making very small changes. I mean, I could just like copy paste a bunch of stuff from Gen 3 and hope it works, but that's not how I do things. I'm making very methodical changes uh, one at a time or a few things at a time. So we'll go ahead and leave third gear up here and we'll go over uh, some of these results here. Okay, so not a lot right there. 
exactly same peak, almost exact. But as you can see, I'm starting with cam timing. So there's a nice little gain there where there was a little dip, same thing over here. These are all the little things that you got to start with because if you jump right into just throwing timing at it and fuel, it's hard to really evaluate what's going on. Uh, here's some more changes. As you can see, we've picked up even more through the mid range. The change actually lost us up top. Again, cam timing stuff. That's a pull in fourth gear to just kind of verify where we're at. Uh, 453, not bad for this setup, but we want more, of course. And then right here was the first time I revved it all the way out and I raised the rev limiter. That was nearly 8,000 RPM. Uh, peaked at 7,500 RPM and now we're up to 436. I wanted to check to see what this intake manifold was doing. It's doing exactly what I would expect at RPMs better than any factory manifold out there. Let's clean up this graph a little bit, two and nine. Again, went in uh, and verified again, but in fourth gear, we didn't pick up where we had picked up in third. So I had to fix some things in the tune for that. All right, now we're up to 446 in third gear. We're really starting to make some progress. That's 10 peak. Uh, pick up everywhere, even a better shape of the curve. It's uh, like I said, it's 10 peak, but right here, you're talking uh, 348 to 371. So that's what, 13 horsepower right there. So that's a nice bump even higher than what the peak numbers show. And then again, I improved that same spot even more. So it just keeps going up and up. And this is, you know, let, let me talk a little bit about dyno tuning versus remote tuning. Uh, in the early stages, dyno tuning is always better. Um, if anybody tells you otherwise, you know, I'm not sure I would <laughs> believe them. Now, once tunes are really developed, it doesn't matter as much. But how are you supposed to really know where these camshafts want to be exactly? Now, you can do draggy times, but maybe you made a change that helped it here, hurt it there, so you didn't pick up anything, but you actually picked up here. And then, you know, as you can see, I'm making all different changes to pick up at different RPMs, and then I combine, combine them all so we have the best power curve. So anyway, dyno tune for sure uh, to start, uh, unless you're dealing with us because we are dyno tuning these and then we can apply these changes to your car. All right, so anyway, I went ahead and made a pull in fourth again and now we're already up to 458. I believe the highest we had been was 452 at that point. So now we're up to 452 in third gear. And that equated to 462 in fourth gear, but remember we're hitting the speed limit. That's still an unresolved issue. And don't forget, if you buy your remote tune for any of the new stuff, Mustang, Raptor R, uh, you know, uh, new F-150, anything, we're giving you 12 months of free support if the combo does not change. So that way, as we continue to make progress, you don't feel left out because you bought too early or you're gonna wait because, you know, I'm gonna let the tune get worked out. No. Get the tune, grab your 20 plus horsepower, and then if there's any changes, we'll update that for free. All right, so anyway, that's where we're gonna leave this off. We got tons more to go. I'm going tomorrow with them to uh, Homestead to run it on the road course. We're gonna log it, make sure everything's good and safe. I'm sure it is. Uh, so what's uh, coming up from here? Like I said, if you want a dyno tune right away, give us a call. We will squeeze you in as quickly as we can. We've got a long line forming. The Hellion car is on its way from New Mexico. It will be here today. Um, the JPC next gen car will be here Sunday or Monday, I believe. Both turbo cars. Uh, we will have Whipple support soon. We don't have Whipple support out of the gate. That will come. And then, of course, we have all the other models coming. Lots of stuff going on here. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and get ready for some epic 615 content for the rest of the year. See you on the next one.